What's happening, Liberty Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Just got this mug from Black Rifle Coffee Company. This is true unboxing. I'm taking it out of this plastic for the first time. And this is what they call the big ass mug. Oh, baby got back. Uh, I like big mugs and I cannot lie. Uh, hey, this is a big ass mug. And what I really wanted to do is check out this thing out because as you can see here, the Coffee or Die, uh, uh, Unite or Die Snake um, is heavy relieved in there. You can see how much it sticks out. And to me, this looked a lot like the handmade uh, uh, coffee mugs that they had. Now, those handmade mugs, I absolutely love. They are pretty expensive. And this really looked like it. I was like, isn't this one of the handmade mugs? Because you can see here where they've painted it. It's a ceramic mug, it looks like. This is all kind of area that isn't painted, the kind of that unfinished, just like the bottom edge here. And so I really love the look of it. It has kind of an, uh, a vintage, old world, you know, typical traditional coffee look to it. I just I just love the look of these coffee, coffee mugs. But this sucker is big. And it's basically over four inches tall. Black Rifle Coffee Company, my fingerprints are all on it because it's been sitting in the box outside in the winter here. Black Rifle Coffee Company logo screened on there. So you've got that looking at it every time you take a nice big sip of uh, some Black Rifle Coffee. Now, the thing is, I've gone ahead and told you that I thought it was an equivalent to the old handmade mugs. So I busted one out here and I wanted to show you not only why I love this, but what the difference is here. So first of all, you should be able to tell, hopefully on camera here, I've got them side by side. Look at how much taller the big ass mug is, right? Yes, they both have this front end relief pattern, so it's very similar in that way. But as you can see here, uh, and it's gonna be maybe a little hard to show you, they are not the same height. And then if we look, I'm gonna put them bottom to bottom here. Bottom to bottom. Just make sure they're lined up here. You can see, uh, much bigger. In fact, if I were to take this mug and lay it on top here, uh, I can't get it inside, but you can see here, the diameter isn't hugely different, but the, the big ass mug is, oh, is, is overlapping on both sides there. But it's really, it's really uh, the total volume that it holds. Now I also will say, you can see here on the handmade mug, they didn't paint it black all the way down there. It's, you know, it's obviously sealed with, you know, some glaze or something, but it's black throughout here. And then, uh, you know, very similar uh, kind of relief front there. And then on the bottom, a big difference here is on the handmade mugs, you've got the BRCC logo. I love that. It says handcrafted on this one. It, it obviously does not, uh, but it does say ceramic mug there. Now I will say, this was less expensive than that. So to me, this mug, you get all the style and that handcrafted look for less money. So this is only $25.99 or $24.99. The handles are a little bit different too here. You kind of have more of that, you know, Bierstein, again, tavern mug, flat, uh, kind of recessed concave handle here, a little wider. And on this, you have a more traditional mug handle. But like I said, you know, these quantities, the quantities of the handmade mugs were always a little suspect. They were hard to get, kind of more expensive. There's always a little bit of a difference between them, even if you order the same style. Regardless, I think this is probably going to be a little bit more consistent and looks fantastic and holds just a, a crap ton of coffee. So if you like Liberty, if you like supporting vet-owned companies, um, vet-employing companies, right, they're not just about uh, getting a a tax uh, status because they've got a vet owning 51%. I mean, Evan Hafner and uh, Matt Best and all these guys, you know, um, I think Rico or whatever, you know, is part of it. Anyway, and then on the their YouTube page and their website, they have videos of a lot of the, the former uh, military personnel that work there kind of doing their story. It's just really interesting. They have a, uh, in the, most recently they have a Navy SEAL video and the guy was talking about, listen, man, if I could have been wearing a GoPro on the, some of the stuff I did, it would just blow your mind. And I, and I don't doubt it, man. Some of the stuff these guys do, you know, and that they don't get credit for is just uh, mind boggling. So kudos to them for not only coming over here and having the gumption to do this and the willpower and, and, and bring in another dimension to the craft that's kind of been hijacked in a lot of ways by big business, hipster, kind of snowflake, men, you know, uh, the mentality there and uh, bringing it back down to us, uh, down to earth, normal dudes, hardworking, blue collar, uh, take no prisoners, bend, don't break, uh, 
lunch pail packing hard hat wearing crowd uh, you know like the people right here at the panda research institute and yours truly uh, i appreciate what you guys have done and uh, are doing for us so check it out i'll put a link to the description if you want to get i think 10 or 20 percent off your first order if you're a black rifle coffee uh, newbie follow the link below and i think you'll get that discount on your first order so happy to do that and check it out peter von panda out